Hi guys, it's Neil here from BZ Paintball and today we are going to talk to you about the Ether 2. So first of all, let's have a look at what's in the box. Um, I think uh, one thing you'll notice straight away that's different from this, from any other Planet Eclipse gun, they put it in a soft case. Normally, uh, Planet guns come in a really hard case, which they look really cool actually, but I think uh, this soft case is actually a lot more practical. Um, it's going to go in your kit back easier, it's going to be easier to transport. Um, and it still looks pretty cool. Obviously, the, the camo look sort of seems to market that Eclipse are going forward with the gun. So, let's have a look inside. So, let's just move this. We've got the Ether 2. We have got the barrel back, barrel front. We have got the usual. Planet Eclipse spares bag, absolutely full of all the O-rings and screws you'll need. Um, Planet Eclipse do that better than any other manufacturer for sure. Um, you've got your tube with the Allen keys in. We have got some Planet Eclipse grease lubrication. We've got the manual, Planet Clips still do printed manuals. And we've got the barrel sock. So, um, let's run through some of the features on this gun. Um, so, I think first thing you'll notice when you pick it up is that it is, uh, there's very little metal on it. It's mostly glass reinforced nylon, which is the same material you'll notice Planet Clips used on uh, previous guns, like on the um, frames or eye covers, stuff like that. But it, yeah, it feels really solid in the hand. Um, so some of the features. Uh, the battery is actually in the foregrip here, and it very nicely just pops out like this. There's the battery. Uh, so that's where the battery is. So that means the regulator has been moved to similar to the CS1 into the grip frame here. This has also got the uh, Planet Clips' Pops ASA, which very nicely air on, silver button, and air off. Um, this here is where the velocity adjustment is. Uh, it's got nice little markings on the side to tell you which way to turn your Allen key to increase or decrease the velocity. Electronics on this are not in the grip frame, unlike the previous ETH and other Planet Clips guns. There's no buttons here, there's nothing to be seen, anything in the grip really at all. Um, instead now, the power button is here. Uh, if we switch it on, it's a nice bright LED, uh, which is visible from both sides. But, uh, possibly the best thing about this gun is that it features the same drive, stroke, bolt, engine system as uh, the GTEC and the GTEC 160R. Uh, that's the Gamma Core, and, it is. and there it is. As you can see, it's exactly the same apart from this one's threaded. It's not a quick release, it's a threaded release. So, the shot is very similar to the 160 and the GTEC. Very soft, very smooth shot. Um, huge improvement on the Ether one. Now also, one thing you'll notice straight away on this gun actually is that it's got no holes, no holes here at all all internal. Um, as we said, the regulators in here, gas through the grip. So like the previous Ether, it comes with a two-piece barrel kit, um, and this one will be compatible with the shaft freak ready barrel back, so you can continue using your existing tip and put the freak ready back on here. Um, not so important, I guess, maybe with the black one, but when you've got the HD one when that comes, or the uh, earth one, you'll be able to stick out black free ready barrel on your barrel back and uh, your matching tip you'll be able to put straight onto that barrel back. So I think a uh, key with this gun is uh, that, that glass reinforced nylon that we mentioned before that the body is made of, it's actually a sleeve that goes around the whole like firing mechanism. Um, Planet Clips have already shown off the EMC kit for the Ether 2 where it's actually a new sleeve essentially for the gun. 
and also they've announced that they're going to make the CAD drawings for the body um, public so you'll be able to change them, uh, design your own bodies and 3D print them so it'd be cool to see what people come out with I guess in that sense. One of the things that people have been asking me in the shop is why would I buy a GTEC if I can get an Ether 2 which has got a gamma core and has got pops and it's got no hose and straight away I would say the biggest difference will be the ergonomics of the gun when you hold it. Um, this one it feels very rugged it's very plastic, even the grips aren't rubbery, the grips feel very plasticky, they're of that same nylon material that the rest of the gun is made of. Um, whereas the, the G-Tech and the 160 I very much feel like um, tournament markers, this definitely feels like it's made for the woods, it definitely feels like it's made for a scenario marker. Um, Yeah, the ergonomics would, I'd say, definitely the biggest difference. But it still shoots great. So I would say if you're on a budget, you could easily get this. It's gonna shoot exactly the same. But if you've got a little bit of extra cash to spend, I still think you're gonna go for the G-Tech. The thing with the G-Tech as well is actually, you've also got the, the, the possibility to add in the upgrade OLED display, whereas on this, it's not possible, you're stuck with the LEDs on the side, no, no OLED possibilities. Let's go and quickly grab the scales and we'll actually do a weight comparison of the uh, Ether 2 and the GTEC because that's something I'd be interested to see as well. Just for the sake of comparison, here is a GTEC. 930 grams and then let's have a look at the Ether 2. Yeah, we've got 975, so it's 45 grams heavier. And they're both the same, they've both got a battery in, um, but obviously nowhere a tanker loader attached. 